more apologies tonight over the struggling commuter rail. The commuters who depend on it every day now being told it could be another month before the train is back on track. News Center Janet Wu is live at the State House tonight. Janet? Well, today, frustrated commuters got an apology, a game plan, and a promise all easy to offer when you're relatively new on the job. Kiolis, the French company hired seven months ago to run the commuter rail, met with Governor Charlie Baker today, bringing a detailed recovery plan that summarized its message. We are humble and apologetic, but also unbowed, determined, committed, and caring. The plan that was presented today was thoughtful, comprehensive, and detailed, and forward-looking, and those are all really good things. But as is always the case with this stuff, it's going to be in the execution and the follow-through. Our job will be to make sure that we are holding Keolis's feet to the fire. Their job will be to do their job. Both of those have to happen in order for the people who ride the commuter rail to get their service back. The new transportation secretary, Stephanie Pollack, who's been on the job less than a month, made the statement during an easy Q&A with a Senate committee. She said Keolis has promised to restore 78% of commuter service by tomorrow, 100% by March 30th. A month from now. Yeah, do you okay think that's you? possible, really, to happen by March 30th? I do think it's possible to have it happen by then based on what Keolis has started to do to turn the corner and based on the documents they gave us. I'm going to take them at their word at this point, but I'm going to check every day. Frank DePaulo, who takes on the job as MBTA general manager next week, was sent instead of the less predictable current general manager, Bev Scott. He said he's probably not going to recommend refunds to riders. I realize we have to restore value. I'm not sure refunds is the way to go. There are other options we can use that people get some value back. Like, for example, like, like, give us an example. Discounts. Now, as Transportation Secretary Pollock agrees with DePaulo on that one. She doesn't think that refunds are going to way to go, but the board will make that decision next week. Meanwhile, she also told reporters that she's been a commuter for most of her professional life. What does she think of the service as a rider? We'll have that answer for you at 6 o'clock. Reporting live from the State House, Janet Wu, WCBB, News Center 5.